morning students here we will continue with the chapter number 3 that is how many squares today's topic is measure stamps so here you can see six indian stamp tickets now in your previous class 4 you have studied about stamp tickets and here we found the value of stamp tickets now you will tell me what is the value of all stamp tickets let's check your previous knowledge so here is stamp a ticket a tells me its value means its price what is the price of its stamp tickets yes here is it written 500 it means the value of stamp tickets is 500 paise or you can say 5 rupees because 500 paise makes 5 rupees and now come to the b here it is written 75 on the stamp tickets it means the value of the stamp tickets is 75 paise similarly come to the d here it is the return 200 on the stamp tickets it means the value of these stamp tickets will be 200 paise or you can say 2 rupees now look at these interesting stamps you have already see that now here is the notice from your bird stamp d covers 12 squares each square is of side 1 cm so the area of stamp d is 12 square cm so here is the stamp d and the word is saying that one side of 1 square it means this one so it's 1 cm it has four total 1 2 3 and 4 it has four sides so this is the length of this stem is 4 cm and the breadth is 3 cm 1 2 3 it means 3 cm so to find the area of rectangle we just multiply the length and breadth so you will get 12 square cm 4 3 are 12 square cm it means that is right 12 square cm now come to the question a how many squares of 1 cm side does stamp a cover and stem b now we have to find the number of squares of stem a and stem b so come to the stem a first so you can see many square box are here it will takes many times if you count one by one all box so let's find the simple way to count this first count the upper boxes vertically and then horizontally you will check that 1 2 3 and three boxes are covering vertically and horizontally it is covering 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 box okay so multiply 6 3 ja 18 you will get 18 so we can say stamp a is covering 18 squares now come to the square b similarly same way you will do to find the number of square of stamp b so count the vertically first 
वन टू थ्री एंड फोर फोर स्क्वायर एंड नाउ काउंट हॉरिजेंटली वन टू सो फोर टू जा एट सो द स्टैम बी इज कवरिंग ओनली एट स्क्वायर सो हियर यू कैन यू कैन राइट द हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर्स ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर साइड डज स्टैम्प ए कवर एटीन एंड स्टैम बी एट सो स्टैम्प ए कवर एटीन स्क्वायर्स एंड स्टैम बी कवर एट स्क्वायर्स नाउ बी विच स्टैम्प हैज द बिगेस्ट एरिया Let's find out it. You can see here the biggest stem is looking the A. So D and F is not so. We can say the stem A is biggest. Now next question: How many squares of side one centimeter does this stem cover? Eighteen. Squares. And how much is the area of the biggest stem dash square centimeter? Means we have to find the area of stem. So you can write eighteen square centimeter. Now we have to find its area. How will you find? it the area actually the area will be 18 square centimeter you can write directly 18 square centimeter but how will you find directly as it is told that here here one side of square it is 1 centimeter so how many squares total Originally counted one, two, three, four, five, six, six centimeter. The length is six centimeter, and the breadth is one, two, three, three centimeter. So six three ja eighteen square centimeter. Right, eighteen square centi. meter now you will find the area of all stem tickets let's find it quickly stem a the length is 6 cm 1 2 3 4 5 6 and breadth is 1 2 3 3 cm so 6 3 ja 18 square cm And stem B, the length is two centimeter, one two two centimeter, and the breadth is one two three four four centimeter. So two four ja eight square centimeter. And the stem C, the length is one two three three centimeter, and breadth is one two two centimeter. Three two ja Six square centimeter, and the next stem B, one two three four four centimeter length and three centimeter breadth, four three ja twelve square centimeter. Here the stem E, one two two centimeter, two centimeter length and two centimeter breadth, two two ja four square. Centimeter and last stem E. The length is one two three centimeter and breadth is one two three four four centimeter. So three four ja twelve square centimeter. So students, here you can see the stem D and the stem F. Has the same area, twelve square centimeter, twelve square centimeter. Here question: 
सी विच टू स्टैम्प हैव द सेम एरिया स्टैम्प डी एंड स्टैम्प एफ हैव द सेम एरिया एंड नेक्स्ट हाउ मच इज द एरिया ऑफ ईच ऑफ दिज स्टैम्प डैश स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर एंड डी द एरिया ऑफ द स्मॉलेस्ट स्टैम्प इज डैश स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर सो हियर यू फाउंड द स्मॉलेस्ट टिकट वॉज स्टैम्प ई एंड द एरिया ऑफ फोर स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर so there you can write 4 square centimeter and here the difference between the area of the smallest and the biggest stamp is dash square centimeter here the smallest stamp that is stamp e 4 square centimeter and the biggest stamp that is stem a that is 18 square centimeter so just subtract it 18 square centimeter minus 4 square centimeter so you will get 14 square centimeter here write 14 square centimeter the difference between the area of the smallest and the biggest stem is 14 square centimeter so it was very interesting to find the area of the all stem tickets collect some old stems place them on the square grid and find their area and parameter so this is your activity so you can do it at your home